Hello, Deadly Habit here, with another episode of Gentleman's Gaming Corner Impressions, this time bringing you Chester. Now, before I get started, I want to show you something about this game. Uh, the last game I did that was an Xbox Live indie game port was Dragons vs. Spaceships, and as you recall if you watched that video, I had some negative impressions about uh, the actual port of it. So before I get started with this, I want to show you something. This game comes with a settings app. Yes, I can configure it. Full screen, stretch screen, a variety of resolutions. I can bind the keys if I want. So, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Be right back with the game. Okay, and we're back right at the title screen. See, start, enter. Oh, it's a good point. All right, this this game's beautiful. It's amazing. It's everything's hand drawn in it. <laughs> And it's a great platformer. Um, I've been playing it a little bit last night. Uh, let me show you something. There's... You you collect stamps in the game and you unlock different chesters, different characters that have different elements. So, there's a lot of different unlockables for the game. Element changes for all the characters. Um, other ones... Yeah, the unlockables is really cool. Uh, there's over 50 boards to it. So, let's get started. Press A. Okay. okay. So, right now it's a hand-drawn level, um, there's another thing that's cool, you unlock different modes for each level. So right here you can change and they have different effects to the gameplay style. So right now at plain it is sketch enemies fire to slower rate, plain special attacks consume less ammo. And with the chesters I've unlocked, I've got these different types that do different element damage. So this one's grass, let's switch back to the mode it's supposed to be. We'll go with Fire Chester for now. So the different enemies have different element styles attached to them. Ah, and different Chesters do different amounts of damage to them. See, this one, the fire does strong to them because they're grass type. Ah, let's see. Frosting. Double jump. Yeah, it's, um, I'd say it's kind of similar to Mega Man in some regards. Oh shit. What's over here? Oh, fork. Haven't got the sport. Ah. Ah, let's see if I get back up there. Shit. Oh. Oh. Yes, you will see the screen quite a bit. <laughs> At least I still got the four. Spork. Okay, one down. Special ability for this one is slow down time. Uh, let's see. Let's 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 change to plane for a little. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different modes. There's 8-bit mode. There's um sketch mode, which this is plane mode. Um, and once you unlock them from doing the worlds, you can do it at any time. So there's a total of eight modes, I think. 12, uh, 11 or 12 characters, 50 levels, so it gives a lot of replayability to the game. And honestly, this is, it handles beautifully, it looks great, this is probably one of the best platformers I've played in a while. Oh, man. This is still one of the early levels, too. And the nice thing is, after you do the first, uh, few stages, you get to choose what worlds you want to do first. Let's see, is there anything over here? Yep. Oh, he's blocking. Great. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, go away. Gotta get those stamps. Ah, uh, come on. Gotta go fast. Here's, here's the sketch, Chester. <laughs> he doesn't exactly have a sliding animation. Either that or I just uh, found a glitch in the game. <laughs> this one reminds me of Mega Man. I think he's the 8-bit one. Uh, what other ones do I have? I've got... This one, I think, is a sketch one, too. Let's go. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Oh, wait. That looks like there might be a secret up there. Ah, okay. Nah. Look, I can get up there right now. I'm not going to waste everybody's time viewing that. I'm just going to beat this level and then show you a little bit of the overworld. Ah, go. Switch it. <laughs> show you some amazing art. Okay, yeah, that's the level. We'll go back to the overworld. See? You get a choice. Sketchy corner. Blocktopia, so there's a blocky style. Blueprint Vania, so there's a blueprint style. Bit Bay. LC Dystopia, I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, let me go back to the beginning so I can show you a little bit of the 8 bit one. Or er, the blocky world, I think it is. Let's see. Yeah, it's the blocky world. So, in the blocky one, you fall slower. And boom, switch it back to traditional. So, a lot of work went into the art of this game, which is one thing I love. Not only does it handle well, but. I mean, once you unlock everything, I mean, you have eight different art styles that you can switch between, and they all affect the gameplay. So, I mean, it's it's really doing something kind of innovative for a platformer. It's something I haven't seen before, so I'm I'm absolutely in love with this game. Um, they have a demo on their website. Oh shit, that was the wrong laser color. But yeah, they have a demo on their website, and let's see, how do I do this? let's go to the menu. Yeah, like I said, they have a demo on the website. It's available on Indievania right now for 30% off at $6.95. Um, well worth it. I mean, I'm still early into the game and loving every minute of it. But, like I said, check it out yourself with the demo. Probably about the fourth or fifth time I said that. But this is Deadly Habit, signing off for now. And tomorrow, either today or tomorrow, I'll finish up the last game on my Indievania sales list that I want to cover. All right, later. Peace. Oh, hey, you like video games? You like video games. Of course you like video games. So check out Vinesauce.com, Vinesauce.com. Live game streamings, a blog with videos like this and other content, a friendly community. So why the hell are you still yeah, you sitting here? Go to Vinesauce.com. I'm a whole lot removed from them Domini packs. The packs with the church.